like one of my best friends in high school. I feel like responsible for that relationship, therefore closer to Bailey because she's dating like one of my best friends from high school. So I was following Kevin for a little bit and then I decided to approach him, right? And confront him about the clue. She ran into me. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we're out here looking for an idol. I'm on my way right now to meet up with Bailey and Bachwick, which should be interesting. I haven't told anybody that I'm meeting with them yet. Like, I haven't even told Nick, and he's the person I'm closest with. Like, Kevin and I are still friends. I think me and Bailey have this agreement that, like, we're going to keep each other safe. We're not going to vote each other. I would totally vote about, though, like, if the opportunity arose. We got a, we got past. We got a history. Like, I don't want that in the game. Don't go to rocks, Megan. Don't do it. I'm <laughs> saying. Man, I love Survivor. I don't know why Megan flipped. I had no idea she was going to I can't believe she didn't trust us that much. I, mean, I trusted her over Adam. I just want to say thank you for sticking with us. Well, of course. Even us. All right, so I want to address the mess that was Tribal Council. Obviously, things did not go very well for me. I guess it must have been obvious to Sam that I was kind of feeling guilty. And I looked at Megan, she would not look me in the eye. In that moment, I realized Megan's flips. But that just put me in a really, really terrible situation because now, first of all, I felt really guilty voting for Sam in the first place because I really like Sam. He knows I voted for him and turned on him, but he didn't get out of the game. Megan, man. Then she turns to Adam and she goes, what do we do? And it's like, Meg, you were the one that flipped. This is your decision. We have this revolt situation in which I have to decide if it's worth going to rocks to try to get Sam out of the game. Um, but that's something that I don't feel comfortable doing, risking my own chance in the game to save someone like Dylan, who I barely talked to. Can't believe she did that. Can't believe she did that. She's got some balls. She didn't keep them. I don't want to play this game without Dylan. I don't. I've never had to do it. So sad that Dylan went home. I had obviously been talking to him quite a bit, and it was like kind of an unlikely friendship that formed. I've never had to play this game without Dylan. I think that's just hitting me now. But I'm gonna win it for him. I have to now. Everything I do in this game is for Dylan. A hundred percent of it. There's so many threats in the game. Like there's so many people who are perceived to be a threat that like it, it should tell you something about this season that I don't even think he had a huge target on his back, having been a winner. I can take comfort in knowing that I I'll last at Emily P again. Andrew, what were those last two travels like? Fucking cake. I didn't like that vote. Nick's been really nervous. I honestly could have tied the belt 3-3. I could have gotten Andrew out because I know the other two wouldn't have gone to rocks. It was on me. I could have done something. I love Emily. I love her so much. She's just such a genuine, sweet person. Now Sarah's in trouble if we lose again, and I love Sarah as well. I hate them all. I literally hate them all. And now Bailey's never gonna trust me again because I said I might write her name down. Yeah, if there's another vote, like, I would vote for Sarah right now. Like, she really, like, betrayed my trust. I literally, I still can't even give you a real reason why I voted out Emily. Andrew's not gonna trust me because I threw his name out to everyone today. And then who do you think are 
the people at this point who have no shot. Who I think has no shot. Everyone has no shot. There's just zero chance I lose this game twice. I've never lost anything in my entire life. Andrew has been like growing on me more and more. So Bailey, Bailey and I have actually become, I'd say, of all people I've played with so far, have be, I'd say have a relationship like grown the most. So I really hope that he's an ally that I'll have for like a while. I actually like her a lot and she is playing a great game this time around. I look out for my friends, I look out for my allies, but in this case my friends aren't necessarily my allies. I don't know what to do. Well, I feel like we're a solid five, and I don't think we alienated Sarah too much. I hate Cooper so much. She understands, right? Like, we came to her the last second, and we told her what the plan was. So it was Emily because of... Because of all the Tom stuff. Because of the Tom stuff, yeah. okay. He's such a little turd wad. Me? I, before that, it was me, you, and Emily, and then Andrew. But me, you, and Emily, like, all the freaking way. <laughs> like, he just gives me this little innocent look. He's like, mm, I'm so to. sorry. There's no other option. Emily betrayed me. My guess is that there's going to be a general consensus to go up for Sarah if we lose this next challenge and stay like a strong four. You're, I'm, I'm not voting for you. It's not happening. Such a manipulator. I'm not gonna say I trust you like 100% because I feel like I can't say that at this point. But like, Fair, you have every right to say that. But I trust you like definitely like 94%. Okay, I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be smarter this game than I was last time. I'm keeping a close eye on Cooper and I am starting a countdown. Um, so this says days since Cooper last screwed you. Um, and today is day one, and we're gonna see how long that lasts, see how high it can get before uh, he screws me over next time. And hopefully this time, I'll be able to screw him before he does it again to me. All right, these are the two, okay, so well, this one is, of the two fake this idols. This is Lucy, who was the executive producer in charge of idol hiding. So I'm now going to dissect this fake idol and tell you how I know it's fake. Uh, this is an extremely cheap necklace. Uh, no way production would ever send this out as a real thing. We try getting as legit as possible. He needs to be spending at least fifteen to twenty dollars per item. So, wait. so I second thought one. it was real because it looks exactly like the second one. Also, like I would look at this and within five seconds know that this isn't real. So there's that. So yeah. the idols themselves, terrible. It's weird that he said Brady will always give you the chance to present the idol just before reading off the votes. It would never be worth it that way. It's always worded in like, if you intend to use this idol, you must reveal, you know, blah, blah. Yeah. See, this is another weird thing. The last time you can use the him being an idol is when there are five survivors remaining in the game. Mm -hmm. It's always something, I can't remember the exact wording, but it's not worded like that. Mm. Jack needs to watch some more survivors. I think he does. I never really took a second to just digest everything and think about this clue. So I had, I had the red flags were just all over the place. Here are the following red flags. The clue says, idol clue one. I have a picture of Adam's clue, and Adam's clues both say, idol clue two, which is weird. It's incredible to me that everyone would have just walked over this a million times. So I was kind of suspect of it just kind of being on the floor as it is. And as I've let it sit in, it occurred to me that someone could have just dropped their last clue, just put on the sidewalk and left it. Look how long this thing is. Like, I'm a pretty tall person, and there's just no way this would fit on anyone that's six inches shorter than me. It would go down to their legs. So if you think about it from a production standpoint, this thing wouldn't be usable. You'd want the necklace to hang right here so I could do a confessional while it's actually in the frame. Look at this. It's not even in the frame. 
And this just makes it look like somebody had this as something they already owned. And they were like, oh, that would be a great fake idol. I found it, it's a fake idol. Someone already has that one. Uh, Cause I just found a clue on the ground that says idol clue one. Okay. So someone hid the idol clue. It's like it's like, then they hid the idol there. It's a fake idol. I, this is, guys, I'm 70% sure it's fake. Oh, you better hold on to something because I got a lot of stuff I need to say. Part of the, part of actually me being upset with Megan and deciding to tank her and Jackson's games is I'm gonna start telling people about her and Jackson. Um, Megan and Jackson were dating last April. Oh yeah. Okay. And then they said that they, apparently they broke up and like Megan hates him and stuff. Yeah. And like, but that was all made up and they've been dating ever since and they never broke up in the first place. Oh my God, are you joking? No. Kevin, I told him about Megan and Jackson because I just know he has the biggest mouth of all time and he's gonna just tell everybody. Did you say Megan and Jackson are a core pair? Cause they're dating? Yeah, yeah. okay. If I want a rumor to be spread, um, then you just gotta tell Kevin. Megan has been lying to me for months. First, I totally thought Megan and Jackson were like actually broken up. And like Megan was trying to downplay it by giving Jackson an idol clue on the Wednesday challenge, but no, they're still together. Oh my God, they're still together. Megan has tanked her game. And if I had to guess, like the swap casualties would probably be Jackson and Megan. Megan and Jackson are dating. Mm -hmm. I think that's how I got <laughs> Megan's flip. Mm -hmm. Is by texting her, I was like, yeah, I'm thought, working with yeah. Jackson. So. Yeah. Megan's obviously with Jackson. Emily B was talking to me. She said, I was like, yeah, apparently Megan has been lying left and right. And she said, yeah, Will was saying she was talking a lot to him and Sam over the summer and apparently she's like a total liar. Like, I can never trust Megan. I will never work with Megan ever. And the first opportunity I get, I will vote her out. There's a lot of people outside of Pawnee that feel like Megan's lying to them. So like, damn, like this girl is never gonna win this game. Like, I don't know how far she'll make it, but like she's never gonna win. She went deep into that She, really she was showing deep. me this boy and I was comparing this, I made her compare him to Jackson, and yeah. I was like, she was telling me about how this boy isn't as cute as Jackson, blah, blah, and I told her, to her face, I was like, I used to think Jackson was so cute, but honestly, I wouldn't even kiss that boy because of how much an ass he is. Yeah. And she was just like, ha ha, yeah. I said that about her boyfriend. Megan, Jackson, Aaron are all tight. Right, that's the opposition that I need to worry about right now. So it's important that Aaron gets voted out next because she's the head of the snake that needs to be cut off in this situation. Megan and Jackson will not make the merge. Aaron will not make the merge. I absolutely am out here for revenge. So Aaron's living on like, you know, a little hourglass that's sprinkling down sand, unless she can flip it around with a swap. I don't, I don't give up. It's not what I do. I'm still in this game. I just need to win. I need a swap. I need something to change. Nonetheless, I get to talk with Aaron. What up? It's your boy, Aaron. It is 7.40, two days before the challenge. And I got to talk with Aaron. Aaron decided to message me, a girl who is dead in the waters and literally has, like, probably is living on borrowed time. And I learned that like she's really, really talking to Jackson. I actually didn't really reflect that, you know, I'm talking to Megan. I think we somehow found our way into like a four peat with like you, me, Megan, and Jackson. Yeah. Unconditionally. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Because me, Jackson, Megan, and Aaron, that's four. So obviously we're gonna have a swap at some point. Everyone knows that. And so what do you know? Kevin, who like I've barely spoken to in this game, wants to meet up. I got to talk with Jackson. And he's talking about how we can we can go really far. We can we can run this game. Like I have a really good relationship with Megan, so like you, me, Megan, that can be a strong three. We can run this game. I told him I'm he knows I'm talking with Megan. And it's just like the most transparent thing ever that he's trying to cover his bases before the swap. He doesn't know who he's gonna be on the tribe with. Jackson is like, if it wasn't me, I can see why people would be like irked by the way he like talks with people. And Kevin is probably one of the last people on this planet that I would want to work with. I mean, I want a rational, predictable player, and Kevin is the definition of a wild card. You're never gonna know what he's gonna do. It's gonna be something stupid, you know that, but you don't know stupid in what way. 
He's interested now. And I do not want to deal with that at all. I want my game as far away from Kevin's game as possible. Kevin is an anchor and he will sink your game if you let him. He's down to work with me, Will and Emily. It was very transparent. I obviously didn't tell him to his face like, mm, I don't want to work with you. But Kevin, I don't want to work with you. So I know I can trust you fully, like 110%, so I want to just let you know um, what I've heard. Some people have voiced some concerns to me. So the other tribes think you have, think you have the idol. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to let you know that like that might come in, so you do not have a real idol. Yeah, here's the eye. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my god. Take, take a gander. Adam, another person along this lines, I very, very much trust. Look, like, I, I'm i so on board with, like, you. And I'm so on board with Lucy, but, like, especially you. Like, I feel like we've had, like, yeah. a close thing since the beginning. Been in a swing vote basically all the time. Everybody needs him. He's playing this game beautifully. Beautifully. And I don't think people really recognize that, but I do. I, I feel like after what happened in the last tribal, like seeing that like Megan and Aaron are people like considered my close friends, but just because someone's friend with me doesn't mean they're going to like be a good person. They're gonna work with me in the game. Like yeah. you and Lucy, like literally saved my life. Like I'm so on board with you guys. Like I trust you guys. Yeah. Friends aren't allies. Yeah, allies are allies. Allies are allies. So. I mean, we're both though. Exactly. It works. Yeah. It works. Really not stoked. I'm running like a 100 degree fever. It's almost 11. I like to go to bed at like 9.30. This is gonna last like an hour and a half probably. She has a fever apparently, which I personally feel like Kevin got her sick from that disgusting ping pong ball thing. The update is that Kevin definitely got Jesse sick today because she had to pull a ping pong ball out of his mouth, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> No wonder we can't be an official student organization. Like, did I get strep throat from Kevin? Maybe. Gross. So what I usually do before I go to a challenge, a lot of pre-game and a lot of pre-challenge uh, preparation. There's a lot of dancing. I prefer uh, the Survivor mashup of Ancient's Voices, which features a mashup of all the se season themes from season one to season, 30, season 36. On uh, Day 39 YouTube channel, check it out. Shout out. I hope this is not copyrighted. We're about to go into our fourth challenge. We don't really know what it is, but I have a feeling we're gonna get physical. And I'm ready to cut a bitch. I'm so, so ready. Date, October 2nd, 2019, 11 p.m. We have a challenge coming up. Sangria Tribe has got to win again. <coughs> Sorry, I had a couple of beers before this challenge. Jesus Christ. A challenge at 11 p.m. on North Campus of all places. This is absurd. Thank God I have a home base to stay in. I don't know what I would do without it. This is my laboratory. This is where I spend all of my time. Especially because now my actual house, my place of residence, is 45 minutes away from campus. So therefore, this is where I will be sleeping tonight. On this pile of garbage. My adrenaline is rushing. I got my I got my challenge gear on. This is from the show MTV The Challenge. We also have my name on my ass because everyone can kiss my fucking ass. So let's fucking go. Yes, ma'am.
What? Tribal council. <laughs> oh, no. I don't. Come on in, guys. <laughs> Sangria tribe, getting your first new look. The new Ani tribe, voting out Dylan <laughs> at the last tribal council. And the new Ogawa tribe, voting out Emily P at the last tribal council. All right, first things first, Kevin, can I have those back? Thank you. So again, this week you guys will be competing for tribal immunity. However, first things first, everyone drop your buffs. Oh, oh shit! Sure. Switching tribes. I forgot my buffs. Ah, I don't want to drop. Our, the way this is gonna work is we'll have everyone draw a rock and hold that rock in your hand. Let's go, Ralph. That's just for you. Uh, so. When I say so, you all turn over your rocks. Some of your rocks will have numbers on them. You guys will be the captains, and you're going to pick oh, the new tribe. Oh, no! Oh, no! no. <laughs> An old-fashioned schoolyard pick. Oh. So, we'll get hand out the rocks. <laughs> Last time I did this, I got voted out. I don't like this. <laughs> Last time you drew rocks, you got voted out? That's no, how no, captain tracked. Yeah. Oh, duh. Were you the captain? And you got voted off by the, te by the team you chose? Uh, <laughs> yes. So on the count of three, everyone turn over your hand and open up your rock. Three, two, one. You are captains. White rock. <laughs> Sam, three, two, and Emily. What? Wonderful. So Bree, Sam. Cooper and Emily B become captains, which is really interesting because Bree was apparently like running her tribe, Sam was running his tribe, Cooper was kind of running his tribe, and then Emily B is kind of like the the only like like the outside person's voice. And so it was just kind of like interesting to me that all four of them got picked. Alright. So Bree, you have the first rock. Sam you have the second rock. Then Emily, then Cooper. So we're doing the classic snake style draft. So three picks someone, Sam picks someone, Emily picks someone, Cooper picks two, Emily, Sam, until everyone's gone. All right. But until there's one person. Oh, so I have to so, pick pick. Three, go for it. Bailey first. Love Bailey. Which, love Bailey. That was good. Leia and Andrew. I saw him keeping the list. Can you keep the list of what? Uh, well. Okay. Cool. All right, Sam, you're up. Lucy. Then Sam picked Aaron, and I was like, that is cold. Like, that is so fucking mean. It was mean. When Sam, like, chose her, that was, like, They were, like, cold. laughing about it. I know, that was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> he wouldn't even look at her while he did it. He was just looking at his feet, Lucy's laughing. Like, it was brutal. The only people who were left when I chose were like Kevin, Jesse, and Megan. So obviously I chose Megan because we need someone who like to get rid of. Wow, tough oh, pick here. <laughs> and I have the last pick and it's either Kevin or Jesse. And I'm like, I don't really want to work with either of them too badly. I don't really want to vote one out over the other. I was like, it's kind of coming down to who do I think is going to be better in challenges. And uh, Leia said that Jesse had a fever and wasn't feeling great. We're gonna go with Kevin. Sorry. Uh, so Kevin comes on over and I'm loving my tribe. We are not gonna lose a single challenge. I mean, come on. My tribal four is stacked compared to everyone else. <laughs> so Jesse is unpicked, but for this game, that means Jesse now has power. So the way this is gonna work is Jesse, you get to pick 
which two tribes are going to form together and which other two tribes are going to form together. So it's going to be two tribes, so you get to pick which two. And then two what happens to me? And then what's going to happen with you is you are going to go to losing tribe after they go to tribal council this week. So you're safe this week, but you don't have a tribe. Whichever tribe loses, you'll join them after tribal council this week. So which two groups of four do you all put together into one tribe? Can we, like, separate a little bit? I was ready to share so, so which ones? These two right here. Yes. These two right here. <laughs> All right. And I don't even think Jesse gave it that much thought. She was like, "You two are standing by each other, and you two are standing by each other. Boom. Easy enough." Do you think there was any strategic thought put into Jesse's decision of which two tribes to put together? Or was that like... Um, here's the thing. If there's anybody except Jesse, I might say yes. Leia and Bree need to be on separate tribes because I'm joining the losing tribe and, you know, if Leia and Bree are on the same tribe and they win, then I'm just kind of screwed. Like, there will be no one on that other tribe that I trust. I gotta keep them on separate tribes. Alright. And on the new Sangria tribe, we have Bree, Jackson, Lucy, Aaron, Sam, Nick, Adam, and Sarah. And on the new Pawnee tribe, we have Megan, Emily, Will, Andrew, Kevin, Coop Daddy, Leia, and Bailey. I mean, it's really like embarrassing that I was the last pick. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of fucked. I'm not a huge I don't, I don't, I'm not going to analyze that too closely because uh, I just don't have time for that type of emotional trauma right now, but um, <laughs> what, why did nobody pick me? It was fake. This is power. I don't even remember. That was my plan. Wow, that was something. I was the first boo. Power. Jack has two items. Dad, I can't survive on an island. I don't belong on this journey. Bitch, I ain't no puppet. Why did everyone vote for Chibi? I have no morals. Can I just start, George? Hey, we cannot sleep with people on our tribe. Let's go to fucking rocks. Sweet and innocent and unthreatening. I don't like getting light. Probably should have played my actual idol. Literally a small rat. Slimy rat bastard. Who to find what? So, for today's challenge, sadly, only one tribal immunity. So, for the challenge this week, you guys will be heading to the volleyball courts. And in the order that you guys were picked, that's gonna be the order that you guys are going in this event. So, two of you will go per tribe per time. You'll be digging up bags of sand and trying to bring them back to your tribe's mat before the other tribe can bring them back. So, first tribe to get three wins will win this challenge. So, I'll let you guys strategize, we'll get back. So, for the first round, the captains, one and two, come to the mat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, driver's ready. Go. Go, Cooper, is he looking for an idol? Oh, no, it's a sandbag today. Very tender. Bree is just scraping the top layer of sand okay. around. Emily's not looking. By the way, there are idols in the corner. I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they found it. Sam is getting everywhere right now. The fight is on. Bree's 
just flopped on it. Bree and Emily not moving. A lot of cheering from both tribes going on. This challenge just got a lot more intense. I like this. Oh my goodness. Cooper and Sam are selling 10 feet from the bag. <laughs> there we go, Sam's back. Sam is just kind of just standing there. Bree is just laying on the bag. Remember, there's a five minute time limit after this. The tribe who is closest to their mat after five minutes will win the point. Get fucking going. Bree sits on Cooper. One minute remaining in this round. The bag looks like it's closer to Pawnee right now. Sangria has to make some moves. Sam's trying to get up. Bree's trying to help him out. This is an intense challenge. Cooper just driving everyone back. Bree trying to get out of it. We have movement. Sam and Bree need to get the bag from this side of the court to have a chance to win this challenge. What's our time at? 30 seconds. Here they go. It's a tug of war now. Oh, Sam and Bree are going under the volleyball net. Sam and Bree are down to 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. Sam and Bree is going to hold it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sam and Bree are winning. Oh, there he is. Good work from everyone. That sucks. 10 minutes of effort. Good job, guys. Good battle. Good battle. Good battle. My water bottle is right on the cooler drain if you need it. Damn. Season two, Kevin and Bailey. No! She did this. She has to have to. They got defeated horribly in their season. Let's see if they take a defeat now. Survivors ready? Go. There you go, there you go. Got five minutes trying to find a bag. Kevin's going right at it. This is a lot better digging than the last round, I can tell you that. We're not going to judge it. Nothing but love. It is so weird. Bailey has a bag, and the fight begins. You have five minutes from this moment to get the bag back before it stops. Bailey takes an elbow. Kevin's going at it. Bailey's on the top. Aaron is just stuck under everyone. Oh, fuck. This is Nick pulling out something. Aaron's going back into it, pulling Bailey out the way. Aaron is pulling a Maggie on Bailey right now. Look at that. Sam gets everywhere. Nick is pulling it. Dragging that bag towards Sangria's mat. They're only five feet away. And they're giving some instruction. Bailey's kind of lost in the back. Aaron's trying to dig in. There goes Nick. He's tough, tough, he touching the bag. He's tough, he's touching the bag and the mat at the point. Aaron's got it. Aaron's got it. Aaron's got it. Yep. Sangria wins. Well done. Good shit. Good shit, guys. Good job. Good job. Up for Sangria, we have Adam and Jackson. Up for Pawnee, we have Leia and Megan. Boys versus girls. Survivors ready. Go. All right. Yeah, fine. All right. For five minutes to find the bag has begun. If Sangria wins this, they will win the challenge. Jackson just watching Leia. You wanna wrestle your boyfriend? The call out from Leia. Jackson doing zero digging. While Adam's pushing sand everywhere. Megan digging everywhere, but just on the surface. Y'all have to dig for this. Y'all have to dig deep for this challenge. Physically and metaphorically. Here we go, Scott the Bag! Oh, 
last challenge. Four seconds for you. That is three points. They have won this challenge. Wow. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Woo! Oh, sorry. All right. Sangria, congratulations. Come get tribal immunity. Get it, Adam. Woo! That final dash at the end. Congratulations. That means New Pawnee Tribe. You guys will be heading to Tribal Council this week where you will be voting someone out of your tribe, which afterwards, then Jesse will be joining you guys. All right, so night of the swap. Challenge number, what, like four? And to nobody's surprise, I won again because I'm just really dominant in this game. Jax and I have like the best streak in Survivor Michigan history, MBD. Actually, it's really interesting. If you watch these challenge performances, I've done so little in every single one of them, and yet we just keep winning. So I'm really enjoying that, uh, especially since like I would have been out of here if we had lost any of those in the past. Possibly this one. I am a winner. <laughs> I would hate me. But like, I'm perfect. Well, second week in a row where I didn't participate in the challenge. I'm getting pretty sick of coming here in the middle of the night and then not getting to participate in the games. You know, this ain't fun. Fuck. Also, can you believe that sangria luck? Honest to God, now look at me, I'm a fucking Pawnee pleb. It's ridiculous. This sucks. Ugh, I miss, I miss red. You know, I bleed red, just like my undergrad days at the University of Maryland. I was red back then. Now what am I? I'm blue. I'm so blue. So I drafted an absolutely stacked tribe. We had me, Andrew, Leia, and Kevin. Would have dominated that challenge. And then we got merged with Emily B, Bailey, Will and Megan. I've, I've and, kind of uh, had bad breaks. So I should was, get the walk of the draw next time. It was fucking ridiculous. I was not the tribe to get murdered. It's fucking ridiculous I didn't get to play. It's literally ridiculous. Uh, you didn't want to. I've waited a year to play. You didn't want to. I've waited a year for that. I promise you, you didn't want to. I've waited a year for that. I live for that. I really do live for that. You can go up against Sam next time. I'd fucking kick his ass. <laughs> Drop your buffs. So we have new tribes now. Very exciting. Oh, I'm so happy we had a swap. And instantly, I feel fantastic. Because your boy has his boy, Sam, has his girl, Lucy, and Nick, who, you know, the gays go together, which is, I think it's pretty lit. Right after the swap, I ended up on a tribe with Jackson, Aaron, Bree, Nick, me, Sam, Adam, and Lucy. Very glad that Bree took me. I chose Jackson because he was like on the bottom of Sangria. So I think it was important for me to choose him. So he felt like someone from Sangria like appreciated him. Like Jesse, oh, you're gonna put Aaron and Jackson together. Here, so we're, here. we're back. What is up? We're both still in the game. Yes. So, so that's now. good. The first day after the swap, I was like, all right, Aaron hates Sam's guts. Jackson does not like Sam either. Megan just voted for Sam, and I'm obviously tied to Megan. They're mad at Megan, which means they're mad at me. The other three, Sarah Gallagher, Bree, and Nick, those are the three that we have to get there. I mean, it could be better. I really wish I was with Leia or Will. Um, I would say those are my number, my like top people that I really trust that are not on my tribe. I'm sorry if y'all see any bit of me y'all didn't want to see. The next goal is to get uh, Nick and Sarah, uh, Sam and Lucy's on my side, and uh, keep winning challenges or go to Aaron. So I still need to obviously have all my conversations with people from my tribe, but I'm not feeling awful. Um, every time I've said that thus far, I turn out feeling awful. That's just the plan. I'm sorry, Aaron, but that's how it has to go. But we're safe this week, so we don't have to think about it. Good shit. Um, so we're driving back from the challenge. 
I have the first tribal council of this season for me, which is a bummer. I'm skating um, by. I'm still not excited about the outcome tonight. That is not the tribe that I want to join. And what I'm learning about Leia is on your side, she's great. I'm terrified at the idea of her having a gun in the Marines, though. She's a total firecracker. So I gotta keep that girl on my side as long as possible. Now I'm on the Panini tribe. Pawnee, whatever. Um, I just gotta rebuild. Actually, I'm in a really good position, to be honest. I, I don't think, I don't wanna jinx it, but I mean, my original tribe, I think is pretty tight. Things are still going terrible for me. I ended up in like the worst possible tribe. I had a quick phone call with Leia, who basically was like, we're half sangria and uh, I don't really want to flip on them. And I was like, I knew you were gonna say that. And I think basically Megan's the clear vote. And it seems like everyone is already throwing out to each other that I'm just the easy person to take off. Probably gonna be Megan, but I'll I was see. gonna say about Megan out. Everybody has like a person that they're in with and protecting them except Megan. So bye Megan. Easy enough, if you ask me. Which is so dumb. This is just like season four all over again where like there's nothing I can do and people are just gonna vote me off because it's easy and just like stick with their numbers. After the challenge, they do the, there's an idol glue hidden somewhere around here because, you know, let's make the game all about luck and who's good at finding a scroll in a bush. One more thing before we go. There are hidden immunity idol clues in the volleyball court. So, ah, good yeah. luck, y'all. Grab your stuff, head on out. Good night. I know people said that there were idol clues out there. I don't care anymore. I'm done with idol clues. I'm done with idols. I have one. I don't need to look for other ones. Especially like going into the challenge and everything, that there was going to be an idol clue. Um, from my experience of being on the idol clue team and everything, I was just like, this is such a good way to put it out. And it basically would, would not make sense if there wasn't. We all first refused to look, and then production tells us that it's not buried. So we're like, all right, let's check it out. The thing, because y'all are being a bunch of lazy fucks. True, <laughs> team. Oh, idol clues are not fucking buried. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> People are looking, they're looking. And then I see a little scroll on the net right in the center of the like volleyball court. So probably I was seen by at least like a few people. Nick saw Jackson find another one. So hopefully Jackson shares that with me. And I see Jackson pick up an obvious idol clue. Lucy was saying that people were saying that I got one. I let everyone know that Jackson found the idol clue. People always say that I got one, so that's par for the course. If it was to the library one, where like there's so many chairs, you know, if that narrows that down, there's a very good chance Jackson now has that idol. So I'm hoping when I get it that it's the one for the library idol because the other two clue threes were like pretty clear about where they were. I think I know exactly where those ones were. But the library one just said in a library, there are a lot of libraries on the campus, and it said go up some stairs, there are a lot of stairs in the mini of the libraries, and then it said look under a chair. There are a lot of fucking chairs. Yeah. I got the fourth clue to the library idol last night. Oh really? So did you find the library idol? I did not. It's definitely gone. Okay. I can share the clue with you. Yeah. Um, I'll text it to you. But it's, I was probably seen by people getting it. It was literally... <laughs> you, the, I'm not going to lie, Nick saw you grab it and he told the whole tribe. What do you know? It just happens to be to the library idol. Idol clue four. And so it just says, ugly, floor two, comfy chair. Pretty simple. So I get back, and then I head to the library, go to the second floor, and under the very first chair, find this bad boy. Jackson found what is potentially an idol after the challenge. And he told me about it and like said that if it was definitely me that he would play it for me. Like that's a whole other decision to know like do I play it or not? Do I ask him to give it up for me? Because he would be so upset if like, I played it and then didn't get any votes. So that makes things more complicated, but it definitely does make me feel better knowing it's there.
My immediate thoughts is I was like super optimistic about this vote. Like I was like, oh, these Sangria people haven't had to vote together yet. It's like a really random like group of Sangria people that like I don't think have been working together. And so I was like, great, I've been talking to Emily B and Will. I got my, you know, people from Odawa, like Cooper's probably got Leia's vote. Like this is gonna be great. Um, and then I meet with Cooper and Andrew the next morning and Cooper's feeling nervous. And I'm like, why are you nervous? Do you, why don't you, why, why don't you think you have Leia? I don't think Leia would vote red this time. Really? I know. So who would she, she vote for? I think she wants Megan now. And I was like, you have Leia's vote, right? And he's like, no. And I was like, all right, never mind. Like I'm not feeling so good now. It's also complicated because Jesse's about to be coming in and there's just another Sangria person. Like, our tribe's gonna be drunk. We have so many stupid Sangria people on it. I don't feel like Kevin there. I have no idea the guy's that. I know. I, 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 don't, I don't know who he's tight with. But... Yeah, definitely get a sense of where he's at. Um, so, um, if Megan goes this week, what do you think happens next week? Um, next week? Yeah. Uh, if Sangri is strong, uh, I guess it all depends on who you guys throw under the rug. Yeah. I, I'll be straight up. Like. Kevin basically said to my face, hey, we're gonna vote out Megan this week and then pick off Odawa next week. And my response was, cool man, so, sounds like a great plan for you to tell me that. There's just not a lot we can do. Do we have like, um, we just talked about like a plan of how we want to approach Megan. I haven't even really thought about approaching Megan that much. Well, yeah, we have to decide like what we want to do because at this point, I think the four old Sangria people are all going to want to do Megan. Yeah. So is that going to be our number one option or are we going to try to rope in Megan and pull someone else and like do something else? That's the thing is like, I don't. Yeah, because it's like risky to try and like pull a sangria away from their like original tribe people. And like, especially because my concern is like Emily B and Will, like they're a package deal. Like I, I can yeah. get just one of them, I don't think. Right. Where do y'all think the vote's going? You like, on Megan? <laughs> like in terms of like, like what's happening after Megan. I have truly no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. It's gonna get difficult. Okay. I mean, like, from what I've heard, like, y'all are planning on picking us off, like... Where are you? If Megan gets voted out, Jesse replaces her. That's five Sangria to three Odawa. We're getting picked off next. I don't know, maybe we could, like, somehow agree that, like, the next two votes, not sure what order, but, like, would be, like, Kevin and Megan. Yeah, yeah. but then there's the other thing, like, you don't need to be pushing for Kevin, and y'all are gonna be pushing for Megan. Wait, what do you say that again? Like... I'm gonna be pushing for Kevin to be the first vote, like of that pair, and like y'all would be pushing for Megan. Oh. I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen, but like, yeah, like we're we're not voting for Megan. Like we're not gonna do that. Like we don't know who we're gonna vote for. Um, Dude, I do not. I do not like this at all. Ah, uh, I'm so mad. I mean, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I get it, but us right now. Yeah, I explained why we didn't want to vote for Megan because I thought it was very obvious why we didn't want to vote for Megan. And it seemed like they were just upset because, me, you know, Odawa wasn't willing to just roll over and let them do what they wanted to do. Like, it's not in our best interest. And I think that because they haven't had to play the game yet, they were really surprised by it. If they wanted to target a Sangria, who, did they, who were they thinking about it being? It probably would be Kevin. Like, if we did go after a Sangria. Mm -hmm. But, like, I know you and him are tight. Yeah. They're gonna vote, like, throw a bunch of votes at Kevin or something, and, like, I don't know how I feel about that. Obviously, this is, like, not something we won't <laughs> really want to do. No, I know, like, I mean... But we don't want to alienate you or make you uncomfortable. No, uh, I think... Or put you in a position where you that. feel like you have to vote out your allies from the beginning of the game. Maybe we should all vote Andrew out together. Bailey wouldn't be down for that either. We wouldn't tell her. I mean, I don't know what to do. She's like really putting us in a weird position right now. That we just left that conversation with like nothing. Like there wasn't really anything that came of that. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll text you guys. Okay. okay. So. All right. <laughs> Good oh, meeting, guys. Yeah. All right. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Oh my God. God, so much, just so much. All right, I need to talk, I just need to talk. 
was a lot going on right now, so much. We were gonna vote out Megan. That was the plan. We were all on board to vote out Megan yesterday, right? But fucking Bailey, strong arming us. I mean, that meeting with her was awful this morning. That was awful. Bailey completely shot her own tribe in the foot. <laughs> I definitely know that my name is kind of out there. I don't necessarily think that's Bailey fucked up right there. She screwed over her tribe and she screwed over Andrew right there by that move. Yeah, Andrew's that probably the, the one that's like yeah, most like, feasible to do because like I don't really want to vote out Bailey because like I do Yeah, yeah, no, that totally makes sense. And like Leia's not going to vote out Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that. She said that they're probably going to put three votes on one of us and it would be on Kevin. Really? We have the power. We are Sangria. Sangria has the power on this tribe right now. We have four OG Sangria right now, and we're gonna get another one. We're gonna have five. And Odawa is not down with that. They want one of us to go, and they showed their hand. I know what they're gonna do. They are not gonna let it be Megan. They are. They want Kevin out. This is risky. <laughs> you're gonna be this. No, like, if we were just like, we're a solid four and we're not moving, like. We're also like, I'm super down. <laughs> you want to rock again? Oh, there's, there's no way. There's no possible way it would happen twice. So I'm in. Right. That's exactly how it works. Or it happened to me last time. So there's like a zero percent chance that happens again, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. On the revote, they're not splitting up. We'd have to go to rocks. Fuck. I'm a number for you. I want to vote out Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. I think it's gotta be Andrew. That's what I told Megan. I was straight up with her. I was like, look, I was planning on manipulating you, but not anymore. We gotta get Andrew out of this game. However, uh, after talking to Will and Emily B, and now Leia reached out to me, which makes me think it's actually real. It seems like they want me to vote out Andrew. Because Odawa has gotta be weakened because there's only room for one tribe in this game, and that's Sangria. OG Sangria. Day one, we are Sangria and we gotta break the legs of Odawa, and that's gotta happen now. Yeah. I like this. Cool, cool, okay. okay, good plan. If this is all true, then I'm in this weird middle position again. Like, I've been this entire game, which is, on the one hand, great, because it means my name probably won't come up, but on the other hand, it's terrible because I have to lie to one side, choose who I'm gonna go with, and then create enemies. Like, as each week goes by in this game, I just creating, keep creating more and more enemies which is not great for me. Bailey wasn't cool with it being Megan. Bailey and Cooper and Andrew, they weren't cool with it being the easy vote because they're too afraid of next week. Well, guess what? Next week was too far away and now next week is this week and you did it to yourself, Bailey. Sorry. It's time to go. The new tribe makes me a little nervous. Um, obviously, Aaron and I are most likely never going to be working together again. Um, I am excited for quite a few of season two people, but there's always that concern that, you know, we how we played in season two and how we've become friends and stuff. You know, does Nick still hate me for not voting him to win? He claims he doesn't, but like now is his one revenge chance he has. So the way it is, is Sam just has three votes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't. I guess I. I haven't talked to Adam, so I don't know where his head's at. But I know how Lucy works. His head is up Sam's ass. Yeah. Luckily, Sam has painted a big target on himself since he knows everyone. He's talking to everyone, playing a big game. So if we're at the point where people maybe want to take out a threat, why not Sam? I would also best case scenario be Sam. Yeah. Given that I have a good connection with Leia, I'm pretty confident about. Um, Bree. I would prefer to get Sam out, but I don't know like if people would be willing. And also like I, as far as from what I've who I've like, because I've talked to everyone. Yeah. Everyone wants Sam except Nick said Adam. I finally had my conversation with Bree and was like, hey, for real, what like why did you pick Jackson? Was it like an easy out? Was it like, do you want to work with him? And she was like, no, I picked people I wanted to work with, which means she kind of wants to work with Aaron and Jackson, which puts those three there and puts me and Sarah in the middle so of two th groups of three. So that makes me think that I'm in somewhat of a, of a swap, flippy type position. 
So I'll just kind of like jump into Cooper's brain and try to be Cooper in my conversations with people. Which just makes it even more confusing because like I don't want to pick one side and like piss off Bree or like pick the other side and like piss off Sam. Um, I feel like I could learn a lot from WWCD, what would Cooper do? I'm, I'm in the middle where I have like people I want to work with on both sides and people I don't really care about on both sides, but then I'm stuck being forced to pick someone and pissing off the people who stay. Me and Nick have been talking a lot and we share a lot more information than anybody in this game realizes. It's a little bit like oh, yeah. nerve wracking knowing that there's a couple people in my tribe that I'm pretty sure were involved with trying to get me out last time. My plan is to not lose, but I do know that either way, Nick is somebody that I really, really trust and I do not see him turning on me at all. Maybe it wasn't wise for me to choose like all people from my own tribe. Or that. No. Just like Adam and Lucy. Yeah. Just like. I don't want Sam getting votes because I want Sam in the game. Between Lucy and Adam, I would prefer Adam. The way she made it sound like she was like, yeah, Sam kind of has like three votes. And I was like, mm, not really, but okay. Yeah. So I kind of just gotta like feel it out, but I'm, I think I want Adam out. I'm fine with Lucy going. I'm not fine with Sam going. Just make sure they feel good about you because I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you're safe. Yeah. Like no matter like, if they're like, oh, we're leaning this way, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, can we like not vote Sam, yeah. essentially. If we are to go to tribal, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> probably the most confident I've been so far. I'll just get right into, did you have a meeting with Andrew yesterday? Andrew, yeah. Did you tell him <laughs> that we were going to be voting off Megan and then next week Jesse was coming with us and then they were on the bottom? What? No, it's just like, I'm being like, that's like the obvious fucking thing, right? To him. So, that freaked him out. That I've heard about that meeting from both Cooper and Bailey. Yeah. And as of now, they're unwilling to vote Megan. Yeah, that's fair. So here's, so they, which to me, I'm like, you guys are gonna go to like a four, four with us. It doesn't make any sense. Why would Megan vote with those three and yeah. get a four, four when she can vote with us against one of them? Yeah. And Bailey's answer was, I think Kevin did. Who said that? Bailey did earlier what today. The fuck? What? Yeah. Why? I had a meeting with Bailey and she basically said, because of stuff that's been going on, like, we're not gonna vote Megan, like, that's not good for us. She asked me to flip, and okay. I was like, no. No. I was like, like, why would I do that? And then she was like, okay, but like, just so you know, our game plan is to try and get someone to flip. And I was like, who do you think that you would get to flip? She was like, I'll be Okay. And then we had a meeting in here, um, the for Sangria, and basically I accused Kevin Wait, did you meet with Bailey? Meet with Bailey? Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Just because it's like still the whole, um... Why does she think she's looking? What? Just probably like being old partners and all that jazz? Yeah. She told me. She told, she told me. me that like she would write your name down this morning. Cause she was, she like, I texted you about yeah, this morning. Yeah, you texted me about She this said that her and Andrew and Cooper would write your name down. They should have just been okay with it being Megan and... Hoped not to go tribal. Hope not to go to tribal again, and now they screwed it up, and we got to surprise him and vote off Andrew. That's what I think. Is that already game with Andrew? I'm going to try Andrew. I'm Maybe just I'm I'm yeah. confused why they think this plan will work. For yeah. like the whole risky part of this plan on their part is before we wanted to vote Megan, but now if they want to vote one of us, what are we supposed to do? We have yeah. to vote with Megan. Yeah. To vote one of them off. And like, Leia, you need to calm down because Ke I don't think, Ke why would Kevin flip on us? Like Kevin puts a lot of effort, I think, into the relationship that he has with me and I trust him. And for one, and you know what I told, I told Bachwick and Leia, I said, that is a bunch of paranoid crap. But basically it didn't sit right with me. Like she would never have that meeting with me. She would never say what she said to me unless Kevin had already flipped, unless she wasn't afraid of the four Sangria and Megan voting together. Like the thing that's like making me freak out here is I don't, Bailey's plan doesn't make sense to me. But Bailey's not an irrational person. You know, I'm not the paranoid one anymore. Like I can chill, like 
okay, fine, if he were to flip on us, maybe I would be on the shopping block, maybe it would be me, but you know what? You gotta trust people, you gotta stay calm, you can't freak out. I don't think Kevin is gonna like two time us. I mean, I think it's in his, his best interest to stick with the tribe right now. Right so I now. think he will. But like, I don't, but just as a player, I don't trust. I don't. I don't think Kevin is, would turn on me. There's no reason that he would. I don't believe that he would. I, I think he's just, er, like, he's kind of, like, erratic. So, like, I don't, I don't think he's this big mastermind that's, like, plotting. Yeah. But I think if he wakes up on a Tuesday and be like, ooh, I kind of want to stir some shit up today, like, he might, he might do yeah. it. So, I'm trying not to entertain that, but I don't know. I just, we just need to get through this vote and then... Hopefully Leia will chill out a little bit about this Kevin paranoia, but it's like Kev it's like Leia and Emily are both so like sketched out by Kevin. And this is a constant game of me having to defend him to them. Like I am literally like laying down on a sword over and over again to try to convince people on my tribe that they can trust Kevin. And I hope that when this game is over that he will see in the on the on the television show how much work I put into trying to get people to trust him. And if that motherfucker actually betrayed me this week after I have done so much to try to get people to trust him, I will lose my shit. I will f lose my shit if Kevin flips against me. That would fucking suck. I would be so angry at him. My focus is keeping Megan, and if that means flipping to yellow, I flip to yellow. Okay. And then we vote out. To be honest, I don't give a shit. You're saying that you would flip over if we had Megan. Yeah. Um, who would you vote for then? Will or Emily. Really? Because I imagine if... But like, why should I believe that? Because aren't you working with Will? Yes. And? There's more merit in working with you guys than with those two. You wouldn't want Emily. I wouldn't want Emily. Cooper might not want Leia. You would seriously vote for Will. That's what you're saying. Will? Yeah. Like ultimate betrayal. You guys know. Oh shit! You better hang on to something. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin! That night, Kevin had said that he wanted to talk to me. So I meet with Kevin. You should pull Megan. No, I know. Okay, and then might swing Leia or and me. Most likely I'll be down if I hear Megan's going with y'all. Why? Why? Um, you know how I talk to Aaron? Yeah. You know who Aaron talks to? Jackson. Jackson. And Megan. I talk to Jackson. Okay. Jackson, Megan. So do you want Megan around right now? And like, it was a very confusing conversation just because of the way Kevin talks. Like it took me a good while to figure out that he was trying to flip. Do you understand? No, <laughs> like I'm so confused. Okay. Who do I value more in this game? Megan over the Will and Emily relationship I have. I don't know, Megan, I guess is what you're saying? No, I'm saying Megan. That, yeah. Okay. I don't want it to be an easy 7-1 against her. But I couldn't tell Andrew that because it's my first meeting with the dude. Even when he was saying he wanted to flip, I was like, why? Like, why would you do that? Like, I, I understand that I probably should have just been like, great, let's do this. But like, I this is Kevin we're talking about. Like, I needed to like, get, go through everything. Like, I grilled this kid for like a while about like, what his plans were, like where, who he was working with, like everything. Are you sh like- what does it seem like i'm fucking lying this time around again i don't know like Fuck. i'm not sure like <laughs> just tell me what to do and i'll fucking do it like for real like, like to be honest yeah yeah he ultimately told me that he has been talking to megan they've been idol hunting together so he has a vested interest in keeping her in this game so he wants to flip to work with me cooper and andrew i know you can't trust me anymore 
It's hard. It's hard, okay? It's, it's hard. a big leap for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're serious about this Megan Jackson Aaron thing? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, like, he was working with them. I was like, shit, this kid's serious. Like, he wants to flip. from Kevin saying he has this new plan to save me, everything's gonna be great, that we should actually work with Odawa and vote out Will. Kevin's plan makes absolutely zero sense. Kevin has this warped view of the game that positions him at the very center, regardless of what's actually going on. Why he would go after Will, who is completely loyal to him, is absolutely beyond me to save Megan. He's basically saving an ally to get, like he's getting rid of an ally to save an ally. Like that's, what kind of gameplay is that, Kevin? My my thoughts are basically as follows. At first I thought it was a little weird they picked Will. I agree. So I took a second to sort of think about it. I don't understand. I don't understand. But then again, at every single tribal he's ever been to, he has voted for an ally of his. Daniel, ally, completely loyal. AJ, was loyal to Kevin, but did want to go home. Maybe I'll give him that one. Lucy, completely loyal to Kevin, tried to vote her out. I don't, I don't understand his gameplay. He votes for an ally at every single tribal council. Why anyone would want to work with him is beyond me, is absolutely beyond me. It's a weird lie to tell me, hey, like, you're fucked, and then also go to my one of my closest allies, Bailey, and say, hey, just so you know, you're good. What are you doing? So are you gonna go along with this plan? I don't know if I want to go along with this plan yet. I would actually rather get rid of Will than Megan which makes me want to go along with the plan, but it also involves working with Kevin, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I heard it's like sort of like you, Kevin, Jackson, and uh, I mean like Kevin and Jackson kind of... have talked for the first time on Sunday. Oh really? So, I don't really know if Kevin, I don't know, that's why I'm a little bit suspicious that Kevin is like proposing this. Like, oh really? Why does he really want to work with us? So, yeah. I, I thought about that also because it's something that also crossed my mind. Yeah. And. The key's not close with Jackson. Kevin, I don't want to work with you. I'm fully on board. Okay, but like. It's Bailey and Andrew are. I like, don't know. Like, what does Kevin have to gain? That. I've, I questioned Bailey a ton on that same thing. Yeah. My view of it is there's five of us. If we all vote as together, it literally doesn't matter fine. what they do. As of right now, I'm planning to write down Will's name and vote with Otawa. Um, it's not an ideal plan, but yesterday I thought it was definitely me, so there's definitely hope. And a lot could happen this weekend, but things are definitely looking better. We'll see how everything plays out. Dude, fuck Will. Like, seriously, like, fuck Will. Yeah. Can't write, can't wait to write his name down. Fucking scumbag piece of shit. <laughs> Jeez. Why do you have such hate for Will? I mean, I don't, I don't, 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 don't want to work with him. I don't have hate for Will. I don't have uh, like, until he's like, let's vote Andrew out. Fucking, fucking bitch. Oh, that makes sense. Fucking bitch. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. He's a dick. So, but uh, to recap, Will told Kevin, who told Bailey, who told us, that Will is going to try to push for Andrew instead of Megan. Yeah. Obviously a great move. Stupid move. And now I have immunity this week, obviously. Um, so I feel like in some ways, this is my week to really play the game because nobody can really blame me for something when I'm not casting a vote. So today, Bailey calls me and that she was unsure about Kevin, but then Kevin ca came over and he was showing her all these receipts of messages from this alliance that he has with Jackson, Megan, and Aaron. And she was saying that Kevin is willing to flip to keep Megan in. And so when Bailey told me that, I think that she thought that that might make me like trust her more and maybe trust Leia less. <sighs> anyway, I called Leia. So basically, Kevin is flipping on Will. It's the first time I've ever felt sort of in the loop. Like I've had like actionable intelligence. Kevin is literally voting off maybe the only person with genuine trust in him in the entire game. He's voting out the one person who, like, 
in a private conversations is like, yeah, like I really trust Mike, give good advice. Said no one ever except Will. And who is Kevin flipping on? The issue is, what does Leia do about this? Bailey talked to Jesse. Okay. And I don't know if she just didn't know Jesse would relay this to me. Jesse told me that Kevin showed Bailey a group text with him, Jackson, Megan, and Aaron. That alliance scares me. Does it not scare you? That alliance doesn't scare me one bit. Now we want to flip, and now we want to vote Kevin. Which is perfect, because now me, Bailey, and Andrew are going to be smack dab in the middle. We can choose whether we want to work with Megan and Kevin, or work with Will, Emily, and Leia. It's just the look on Kevin's face would be so funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It'd be so funny. Yeah, I know. I don't think either of us trust Megan or Kevin. My pitch to Cooper is basically, Kevin is a little snake. Why would you want to work with someone who does not make rational sense? That's Cooper's worst nightmare. Somebody who doesn't even make choices that are self-interested? Cooper can't understand that. How could you not do what's best for you? And how could you be so stupid to not see what's best for you? And so, we can choose whether Kevin goes home or Will goes home. Okay. Will... is gonna freak. You know, I really promised myself that I wouldn't make the game personal this time, I swear. I said, didn't I say it, Mr. Bones? I said that the game was not going to get personal this time. But fuck you, Kevin. Now here's a fucking deal. It's a big fucking deal. And you know why it's a big fucking deal? Because there's nothing in Will's mind that ever works in deals. It all works in fucking emotion. Kevin betrayed me. Kevin betrayed Sangria. Kevin betrayed Leia. He betrayed Bachwick. He betrayed me. Kevin! Here's the psycho bitch in you, right? There's a lot of psycho bitch in you. I literally have worked so hard in this game to try to tell people that you can trust Kevin. He's not a scheming asshole. But it turns out he is. You think you're the hottest shit in the room? I'm the hottest shit in the room. He's played the exact same game again. Kevin is a self-centered, Self-centered, irrational, erotic, delusional douchebag. That's all he is. That's what he was in season two, and he played the same game again. He betrayed me. With you and me, and knowing that you're close with Emily B, that's a no-go, all right? I still had a real relationship with Kevin, and I wouldn't have done this to him. Even him having some secret alliance with Megan and Jackson and Aaron, like, I don't give a shit. I'm a little bit defeated that this little friendship of ours growing over, what, a year on production? just isn't working out. But Kevin fucking threw me under the goddamn bus to the other tribe. I can't believe it, that piece of shit. You're just absolutely insane. And that's no good for me because I'm fucking insane. <laughs> oh my God, like I said, I wasn't gonna make it personal this time, but I can't help it. Like I thought this guy was like a little brother to me. I liked him so much and he just betrayed the shit out of me. There's something about you being like an emotional player and I would just like to see you cry. <laughs> oh my God, that would give me so much pleasure. That would give you so much pain. <laughs> and that would make me in bliss. That little snake. And your little sacrificial pawn, you know? This sucks. I might have fucking blown up my entire game. I might be Will Benz got 17th place on Survivor Michigan All-Stars because I trusted Kevin. Because I trusted Kevin. Let me lay out how yes. my last few days have gone. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to meet. Um, because I, I need to discuss some things with you. It all started really a long time ago, basically at the beginning of the game. Okay. The story starts goes back since really last year when I thought Kevin was my friend. I thought Kevin was like my best friend. I was really close with Kevin. Oh, and geez. You know, I've been there. Like, yeah? You know I've been there. I know you've been there. I thought he was my closest ally, right? Like, he told me like he wanted to be final two with me and stuff like that. It seems like there was a real falling out, like a genuine falling out beyond the game between Kevin and Will. In his heart, Kevin is a villain. Like, that's the thing. Him and I actually met up and had a very, very productive conversation after 
he had to throw my name out all week. I think I think you understand this. I'm not someone that so you get super <laughs> butt hurt when someone says my name. Right. Like it is like it is what it is. Yeah. And I makes it makes sense. Yeah. If it didn't make sense, I'd be pissed. Right. But it makes sense. I think it made literally the only reason it went to that at that point was because I was like Bailey wants to throw votes at someone I'm really loyal to, which is Kevin. Like that is what it was. The way I see it now, like I want to work with you, and I know Leia wants to work with you, and I want to work with Bailey, and I want to work with Crouch too, and um, I want to vote out Kevin, <laughs> and I want to vote out Megan <laughs> okay. after that. Yeah. I like to s stay loyal to people, yeah. and like you know, like I want to work with you, and I want to be in an alliance with you, no, and if I we're like too. really committing to that now yeah. and being serious about it, then I'm serious about that too, and I'm serious about working with Cooper and Andrew too. Yeah. I think Cooper and Leia are like, I think they're pretty tight. And I think Bailey and Bachwick are pretty tight. They are, yeah. He brought up a lot of good concerns about voting him out. If I vote out Will, effectively, I position myself, I'd say lower on the social hierarchy in my own tribe. The reason why is Bailey and Emily B are very close. Cooper and Leia are very close. And Jesse has more allegiances to those people than she does to me. As a result, that Will would actually be a great advocate for me to have on the tribe. You know, if I survive this week, then, you know, moving forward, like, if we're, like, in a group of six, like, I'm absolutely, like, your biggest advocate. Yeah, because, no. like, they're going to be, you know, the other four will all be protecting each other, and, like, I want it to be the same way with us. It's something that works for me. It doesn't work for Cooper or, or Bailey at all, but it works for me. And... That, that matters a lot more to me than it does for them. I mean, as long as Cooper and Bailey are also on board and the numbers are there, yeah. I think it makes sense for me. You think so? If they're on board? As long as, they, as long as they're in, we have the numbers, I'm in. I think it makes more sense to work with you, Emily, and Leia. Just there's more cohesiveness. We have more connections. But like, I feel really good after this conversation and I like, appreciate your honesty and like, I'll do what I can that to like, make lot. sure, like, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's the more logical group that's not just going to go out there and do things on a whim. So that's my preference. Like, I want to work with you long term, and like, especially like I, I'm very good friends with Emily B. Like, yeah, I want to protect Emily are. B, and like, I yeah. know that like it's in Emily B's best interest to have you in the game too. So like, even in a roundabout way, like I want okay. you in this game. Will's sort of an enigma because Will is someone that I don't know how, but always finds himself. In, in the drama, I don't really know how, I don't really know how else to put it. People don't change, Survivor players don't change. It's just the same stories told over and over and over again. In the story right now, Operation Will tries to save his own ass. It's, it's the same, it's the same as season three. It's, I got a close ally, I got a best friend. Uh, they betray me for literally no reason. And then uh, I have to assassinate their character in order to try to save myself. My point is like I don't sell people out. Like I don't, I'm not going to sell out Leia. No. I'm not going to sell out Bailey. I don't. I don't sit excited in a corner so that I can jump out like yeah. a gremlin and stab people in the back. Yeah. And that's what the fucking same Kevin way. does. <laughs> Just Ben 2.0, except this time I'm trying to be less personal about it. All right. Seems like somehow Leia found out that Kevin was going to flip. So nobody on Sangria has been reaching out to me today, which definitely is suspicious, but it seems like they have been talking to everyone on Odawa and trying to change their votes to Kevin. So, like, I wanted to talk, because like, obviously I talked to like everybody today, yeah. like all three of them. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, I just got off the phone with Leia, and like, it's not that I like, I just, I guess I just feel like, A, I guess I need like, to talk to y'all because like obviously they've given me like a lot to think about yeah and like it's not that i want to flip like i just feel like i want to like make sure we like talk things out first before we like are just blindly like yeah let's go with this plan like i guess i just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing here but i'm a little bit nervous about what everyone in odawa is going to do like they don't necessarily have a reason to keep kevin especially knowing that like Bailey and Emily B are close, Cooper and Leah are obviously close, so things might not go as expected tonight. Yeah, I think we just need to figure out which scenario sets us best for next exactly. vote. I think that's my big thing. Yeah. 
I'm the greatest in this game. I think I'm sitting pretty. Be You're so dumb. Cooper, it's like everyone's like content with me, but no one's gonna throw my name. Who's gonna be upset if you're voted out? Nobody? Like, I think nobody. I just need to make the merge as little of a threat as possible, so. We at least, we're gonna stick with you. And now, you've screwed us over, so you've lost your allies, and hopefully and probably you're gonna get voted out tonight. Fifth plate, uh, fifth out in the game, same as last time, so. There's that, I'm just the greatest, aren't I? Guess you were just as bad of a player this time as you were last time. Will is this random wild card, we call him Paranoid Will, and every time we talk to him, we get what we call Will Syndrome, which is when you start becoming really paranoid for no reason. Dude, Will, the past 12 hours, has been on some shit. Get hype! I know how this game gets to you. Fuck you, Kevin! It started. It started. People letting this game make them crazy thing has started. Fuck. And watching Will kind of lose his mind over the past 12 hours was just like... Made me sad. I'm sad. I think old Willie bit off more than he can chew. I think this is my last rodeo. The all-star out at 17. Ain't no coming back from that. So, they broke your heart? No, you broke my heart. Why'd you do this Why to me? Why did I do this to you? Um, do you know I've been sticking my neck out telling people that you're not shady since day one? Yes, I understand. Constantly. Okay. Constantly telling Leia and Bree and Emily that you're not shady from day one. Mm -hmm. Saying, Kevin comes to my lab all the time. He's been telling me for a year he played a douche game in season two and he wants to be really straight up this mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I have been breaking my back to get people to trust you. Mm -hmm. So why did you do this to me? Um, it's me seeing how far I can get with the people that are valuable in the future long game. To you, people yes. that are valuable to you. I think uh, the show put it best. I'll do what I can if it's my own game. I appreciate it. I don't hold anything you against you because I that like you a lot as a person. Yeah. And I really I wish kind you were of able thought to... that we were friends. Yeah. But maybe you just think I'm weird and you don't like me. I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's the words I just have to think. It's what I call being crazy. I throw these names out in these conjunctions and adverbs and adverbs. You can call me Bailey Crazy, but I'm gonna tell him you're a snake. Yeah, go ahead. Oh shit, I was gonna- wait, I got it. That's I'm sorry. What? Yeah. It'll hurt me. No, I didn't bring it, I forgot it, I was gonna be popular. I haven't felt- I know, you're, you're hurting more. Yeah. I'm just hurting because I didn't listen. I didn't listen to Leia. I didn't listen to Leia. I didn't listen to Leia. I didn't listen to any of them. things off. Leia, Will, and Emily, how does it feel being at your first tribal council of the season? And Kevin. And Kevin! What? I forget Kevin. I'm so sorry. That's, that's, that's my ironic for the week. How's that ironic for the week? Do you like to elaborate, Cooper? Sangria did not exactly stick together this week, so. Oh, okay. Kevin, Leia, Emily, and Will, how does it feel being at your first tribal council of Survivor Michigan All Stars? I am just honored to be on such hollow grounds. Uh, Leia, so season one spot, does it bring back any bad memories? Yes. 
just yes. Care to elaborate? Brought some beer? Uh, yeah, I learned my lesson from last season, especially because this season's different because I'm playing with a lot of friends. I didn't really leave last season with a lot of friends. Um, so I'm just here because this is basically a reminder to myself that this is a game and we're here to have fun. So. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Bailey, do you think that with All Stars, as Leia said, most people here are friends. Do you think the original tribe alliances matter that much or not so much? Yes and no. I think, like, having voted together, like, I think certain people want to stick together. I just think it's hard to know where your trust lies until the votes arrive. So, um, I think tribes kind of matter. I think friendships also kind of matter. So, it's just like a mix. Kevin, is there anyone that's kind of outside of those friendships or whose names might have been thrown out this week that you've been hearing? It's, um, the friendship's point is like, you know, all important to all of us. So, you know, I think that's a major point here. And Leah said it best, it's a game, and you just got to think for your best in any opportunities available to you. So, that's I'm not key. answering Any your... opportunity available to you, you have to exploit. That is what you will do. That sums it up. Do you, would you like to elaborate on that? Do you mean I mean, I just had a heart to heart with Kevin five minutes ago, mm -hmm. saying I've been lobbying for you the whole game. I've been telling Leia, I've been telling Bachwick, I've been telling Bailey, I've been telling anyone I could that you're not a douche. You played that game in season two, and that now you want to be loyal and you want to play a loyal game. I said that to him five minutes ago, and he said, "I am playing to do whatever will." work best for me. Whatever group of people will get me the furthest is what I value. I don't value the relationships. So That's if it. I just heard it correctly, uh, it sounds like Will just called you a douche in season two. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, I was quoting Kevin calling himself a douche in okay. season two, which he said to me a year ago when we first started talking. Okay, so Emily, it seems like Will's in the hot seat. Is that correct for this week? Um, I think we all know that. I think it becomes clear that you know some people do what they have to do and you can't really hold that against them and it becomes clear that other people just make dumb moves <laughs> some do both <laughs> so cooper is there anyone else's name who's been thrown out this week that you'd like to say or is it yes. just will it's not like kevin you? is kevin is the other name that's out there kevin's the other name I'm so it's, it's so it's between kevin and will this yes, week is that the group consensus Right. Well, also, you like I just want to say, I like Kevin a lot as a person, and when I say that, that word, it's me literally saying what Kevin has said a lot, and it's game talk, and I don't mean that, and I really hope that we can be friends after this, and I'm not trying to take things personally, and I like Kevin a lot. I've told a lot of people for the last year that I like Kevin a lot, and I mean that, and I always will. Oh, I'll attest to that. I love the Mac, you know, but it's just like, sometimes the game is consuming, you have to look out for personal interest over the people you love in this game you know and I love a lot of people and the opportunities I've had and you know I was told by people it's going to be heartbreaking the first time you ever vote out a person and it's either you are the causer of the heartbreak or you are the heartbreak itself and it takes a lot from you as a person and you know I've been called out or quoted myself saying I'm a douche in this game or in the previous game, and it's just unfortunate how it goes that route, but it's how it goes that route. And on that note, it is time to vote. Cooper, you're up first. Before I do this every time, I open this end every single time. I don't know, kind of dumb turning on the people who like would have been loyal to you. Um, but you know, that's his dumb move. We'll all be fine. Survivor sucks. I said I was gonna break people's hearts this game and I'm not sorry. Cheers, buddy. Live every tribal like it's your last. I'll go tell you the votes. Right. If anyone has a hidden immunity or a cone, would like to play it now, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I read the 
the votes, the decision is final. The person being voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. Or he votes. First vote. Will. Second vote. Kevin. Will. Two votes will, one vote Kevin. Kevin. Two votes will, two votes Kevin, four votes left. Kevin. Fun, but that's a strong word. Time for you to go. Unanimous vote. Seems like your tribe still has a lot to figure out. Grab your stuff, have them out. Good night. Next week on Survivor Michigan. Cause like, I need you. <laughs> Kevin is such a backstabber. He hasn't changed at all. He has not changed at all, dude. But hey, I'm still here, motherfuckers. You gotta deal with this fucking psycho for maybe another week or two. You are a super smart player. I think it's why you gotta go this week, so. I heard your pitch, trust me. We are not letting Kevin get that far in this game. Like, believe me, we are not. I really could have seen us working together. Sorry, but you were throwing my name around this week and I did what I had to do. <sighs> Wanna join a club where you get to make a bunch of friends and then they inevitably break your heart, backstab you, then join Survivor Michigan. It's the most fun you'll ever have. You get to hang out with a lot of fake manipulative people. It's really fun. Okay, so it's day one. I'm on my way to meet everyone for day one. I, William Michael Bence, being of questionably sound mind, do hereby declare war upon you, Benjamin Roddenmeyer. I didn't think it would be like this. It is winter in Ann Arbor. I'm proud to have made it that far, and if I get voted out tonight, then you better watch out because I'll be back next fall. Cheers. Good talk. Good talk. Hope this okay. works out. They broke your heart? No, you broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs>